All right, guys, I'm gonna hop in the shower and then we're gonna start my nighttime routine. Let's get it. What's up, guys? I'm Catherine and welcome back to my channel. So I did a poll on Instagram to see what you guys were looking to see and I asked if you guys wanted to see a skincare routine for my nighttime routine, you know, like a nighttime skincare routine. How about that? That's what we're talking about today. All right, fresh out of the shower. First step, we got to put some stuff in my hair to, you know, make it all nice and stuff. I'm out of focus. So this is my first product. It is a coconut oil 10 in one leave-in conditioner that I have been using from uh, Marshalls for probably two years now. So I've already brushed my hair, it's a little wet, and I'm gonna take this spray, a leave-in treatment for all hair types, paraben-free, it's by Oilology, it's cheap, it's just like it smells nice and it's kind of, you know, just a fun little product for my hair. Um, we put some leave-in treatment in our hair. We're gonna let that chill for a little bit. And we're gonna talk about cleansers. So currently I'm using two. I know people aren't really supposed to do that, but I do. This is the Glossier Milk Jelly Cleanser. I got this for Christmas for my sister-in-law. It's amazing. It's like gel. It's very like, almost feels like a little bit like lotion-y and you kind of just can like rub your face really nicely and afterwards you feel pretty like refreshed, clean. It's nothing like too scenty. It's very, the, very basic. I have very simple skin, so this is the kind of product for me. Another product I've been using recently is the Enzyme Cleansing Gel. There we go. Okay, so this is the Enzyme Cleansing Gel by Mario Badescu. And I don't know if I said that right, but we're gonna run with it and we're not gonna talk about it, all right? I'm going to pull my hair back first off because, you know, got a treatment in. I can't, can't be getting no lotions in there. And if I didn't say it before, I used the Glossier Milk Jelly Cleanser in the shower to take off my makeup. I still have a little bit of excess under my eyes and probably on my eyebrows. So I'm gonna use this enzyme cleansing gel by Mario Badescu to get all the excess makeup off, exfoliate one last time before I put on my self tanner. I like to use warm water. You can use cold water. I don't really know if there's like a preference. I, once again, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm just here for a good time. And I have issues like getting water all over myself. So when I wash my face and I'm not in the shower, I have to put a towel on my clothes because usually I'll get it all over the place. So we're gonna take this enzyme cleansing gel, put a little bit on our hands. This is good. It's about the size of a nickel. It's a good comparison. I'm gonna put that on our hands and we're going to just like scrub a dub dub away all over our skin. And I have to close my eyes so I don't get it in there because, you know, I'm trying to get that excess mascara off, all right? Okay. And we're going to pat dry because apparently these beauty gurus are out here teaching us not to, like, rub our skin. And I have, like, wrinkles up here, so it's probably from my childhood not knowing that you're supposed to pat your face dry. Okay. Now we're going to derail this real quickly. Sorry to get off topic. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Bad moment. Next step, we're going to talk about self tanner. These are the L'Oreal Sublime um, Sublime Bronze Towelettes. They're self tanning towels, streak free, quick and convenient, 100% natural looking, whatever. I use two of these. They're literally like wet wipes um, or like makeup wipes. That's what they look like and they don't really have any color they're just completely white and you just like literally rub them all over your skin and I use two because I do my whole body I don't just do my legs but these these are easy they're not messy I don't have to have a glove I don't really have to do anything other than put these on so this is what we're gonna do we'll be back in a minute okay we're back baby my self tanner is on all over my body I'm still kind of sticky but it's whatever the best part about this is I can literally put my clothes on like five minutes later and it's fine Sorry guys, you had your blow dry time. This is the dry bar blow dryer. So we're gonna blow dry my hair and then we're gonna get into the rest of my skin. We're gonna wrap up this video and we're gonna to sleep. <laughs> Sorry guys, it really is a long day. Okay, we're gonna take these dry bar clips 
and we're gonna throw our hair back. And our first step after cleansing, let's check my iPad. I've got a plan on here because you know, I'm disorganized. When I try to film these videos, I go ding, 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 ding. And I forget all the things I was gonna say. All right, so we've talked about our cleansers. And next we're going to hydrate with a facial mist. This is something new and fun and fresh. For Let's get into the um, hydration facial mist. This is a moisture surge facial spray from Clinique. I got this in a gift bag um, with my um, moisturizer that I use, which we're gonna talk about in a second. But I used to use these facial sprays. I do not anymore. They just kind of made my skin feel a little sticky, so I took a little bit of a break. So this is my first time actually using this Clinique Moisture Surge face spray, but we're gonna go for it because like I don't really know what else we're doing in here. Wow. I guess this is a review too. <laughs> I wanna talk about these two serums from Glossier. We've got Super Glow and Super Bounce. Um, so these are meant to hydrate and brighten your skin and that's something I was dealing with a lot the last like six months. My skin was really dry and like I started to get dry around my chin. And so when looking at these serums, our first one that we're going to use is going to be Super Bounce. This one is perfect for tight and dehydrated skin, which if you guys didn't hear me, is something I suffer with and like deal with all the time. So the Super Bounce is the hyaluronic acid and the B5 vitamin. So I'm going to take a couple drops into my hand like this. And now that I have it on my hand, I'm going to pat it over. And instead of like rubbing this on your skin you're supposed to pat it in so that's something i'm trying to work on following the rules of skincare because i'm out here rubbing things in and i didn't know that was like against the rules but don't worry people will correct me now um but overall this serum this is the one that was recommended to me the most and I got the Super Glow just because I wanted the dewy look as well. And I was excited to use them both together and see if I could get double the results, you know? So now that we've pressed that into our skin, I'm feeling a little shiny, a little glowy, and I'm knocking things over, whatever. Guys, to be quite candid with you, I'm like having a really hard time filming this video right now. I don't know what is going on with me. I'm just like so scatterbrained and I have so much to do that I can't focus. But we're gonna get this thing on the road. We're gonna get this thing going. We're not gonna make this a long video. This is gonna be a good video. So the next thing we're going to use is the Super Glow. It's a little PG, which is cute. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the same thing. You also wanna make sure your face is dry before you do this as well. You don't wanna be putting them on at the same time. We're gonna take a couple drops. I don't know if I use too much, but I don't really care. Um, so the Super Glow is for energized and even complexion. There's vitamin C and magnesium in this serum. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I did read on their website before, because I've been looking into Glossier for like a long time. And I wanted to make sure they were legit and they weren't just like a, a, like a Visco Girl, like cutie kind of brand that like people were buying just because it's pretty and like aesthetic. And I read about the clinical trials of both of these products and the reviews of the jelly cleanser because, you know, everybody swears by it. So I wanted to give it a good shot. Also, my sister-in-law told me to put this on my lips. And maybe that's why they're looking so luscious and plump lately. I'll toss that in my eyebrows a little bit. Maybe it'll help them because, you know, these girls need all the help they can get. We're going to wash our hands and we're going to get moving on to moisturizer, huh? Let's talk really quick about um, spot treatment. So if you guys do deal with acne, which I only really get a hormonal pimple or two once a month, maybe. Sometimes I don't, and I'm not bragging in any way. I'm just saying it doesn't happen to me, so I don't really have to deal with any intensive treatments for that. But when I do, I use the drying lotion by Mario Badescu, and it smells like really, really strong. But I will just dip a Q-tip in here and I'll put a little spot and I leave it, I sleep on it, and the next day I wake up and I have, no lie, the red, the redness is gone and it's like flat. It's so freaky. Sometimes I'm like, this is like witchery. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how this happens, but it truly did. And it helps a lot. So we're gonna talk really quick about eye cream. And this is a new product that I just got from um, Mario Badescu in a gift set. 
It's the hyaluronic eye cream. It is for all skin types. It's this little, I have like the little baby one right now. I'm gonna dip in here. Oh, that might be too much, but we're gonna have to figure it out. I'm gonna put it on both my fingers. And I actually learned this from my roommate because she watches a lot of those Vogue like skincare routines. You never should rub in your eye cream. You should dot it and then just like, you know what I'm doing? Just, what is that called? Maybe blend now, that's like a beauty blender. So the final product we're gonna talk about today is the um, like the hydrating step. So I like to use this Clinique 72 hour auto replenishing. Let's get that focus on there. Come on, let's try to focus on my tattoo. It won't even focus on this. There we go. So this is the Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. I started using this in about October and I have seen a massive difference in my skin and like the dewiness and the glow and like the soft look that my skin has. I don't use too much of it. I would use about this much and then I do the same thing. I pat that into my skin. I started using this because I do deal with like some serious um, dryness problems and I was looking for a product that was not only hydrating but was like gonna benefit the look of my skin and the feel and this is just like done me so good. All right guys, I low-key suck at skincare videos, but we're rolling with it. So if you like this kind of video and you want to see more from me, then go ahead and like this video, leave a comment down below, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, and you can turn on my post notifications bell to be notified every single time that I post, which is every So, it's been fun, y'all. See you next week. Bye.